Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. For those new here, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. It will really help spread this video to more people. These videos will move pretty fast, so if at any point you need more time, you can pause the video, adjust the speed from the player's bottom right corner or check the GitHub repository in the description. So now let's get started with today's video where we'll use machine learning to see if people are wearing surgical masks. We begin with an empty HTML file. Inside the HTML, we link a new CSS file. Now I remove the padding and margin from the body and give it another background color. Now, just before our body tag ends, we can import our TensorFlow plugins. We added the core TensorFlow library, the mobile net model and the KNN classifier. Now we can go ahead and create a new JavaScript file and include it in our HTML. Added some sample images with people wearing masks and people not wearing masks that we'll use to train and test our classifier. After the window was loaded, we'll use two variables to count uh, the mask images and no mask images. Now we'll loop through each image and add it to the DOM. We need to add a container where we'll insert all our trained images. Now going back to our JavaScript file, we can use document.createElement to create a new image. We'll set the source attribute of the image to load each mask image. The convention that I went through is that I have an images folder. Inside that I have two folders, mask and no mask. Inside those I use 123.jpg to name the images. So using that I can very easily loop through the images. Next we need to select the wrapper container where we'll insert the images. Now we can use append child to add every image to the DOM. As we can see our images are loading successfully. Because we are only using those images to train our classifier, we can go ahead and hide them using display none. And made this small change to our link tag so our CSS will load properly. I'll go ahead and comment this for now so we can make sure our images are loading. Until now we just loaded the images for people wearing masks. We can go ahead now and load the other images with people not wearing masks. We can copy the for loop from above and change the counter and the folder. As we can see all our images are loading successfully. So we can go ahead now and uncomment that display none from our CSS file. Now we'll go ahead and define our function that we'll use to train our model. We'll start by initializing our KNN classifier. We'll make sure that we call our function inside the onload method. Now we can go ahead and load our mobile net model. And don't forget to make the function async as we used await inside of it. Next, we want to add a class to every train image so we can select them later. <laughs> At this moment, I realized that I named the, my variable the same as our mobile net object, so I changed it to mobile net module. Now we can go ahead and select our mask images using the class we defined earlier and console log them to make sure that everything is working as expected. Now we loop through them to add every image to our classifier. This is part of the training process. We'll define two classes here. Class 0 will be for people wearing masks and class 1 will be for people not wearing masks. So we'll add those examples to class 0. Next, we can go ahead and copy this and do the same for people not wearing masks. Make sure to change the query selector class to uh, no mask. And we'll call the classifier.addExample and we'll pass the one class this time. That's basically all we have to do in order to train our classifier. Now we can go back to our HTML file and add an image tag that we'll use for our test image. I'll use the ID I gave it to add some style to it. And I realized that I forgot to return the classifier object in our train model function. Also decided to give it another name. Now we can go ahead and select our test image. We'll follow almost the same steps we used in our train function. We decided to move our mobile net model variable inside our onload function because we'll need it there and just pass it as a parameter to our train classifier function. 
Now we aren't going to use alt example, but we'll use classifier dot predict class in order to make the prediction and console log it to make sure it's working. And as we can see, we got our prediction. It says uh, class zero, and that's correct. Now let's go back into our HTML and try with the no mask image. And as we can see, we got class one, and that's correct. I'll just add some CSS to center our image. We don't want to console log the result, but we want to give the user a feedback. So if the person in the image is not wearing a mask, we'll add the red border around the image. And if the person is wearing a mask, we'll add a green one. To make this possible, we'll create two CSS classes, one for the red border and one for the green border. By default, the image will have a gray border and that means it's loading. Just after our prediction, we'll do an if statement to see which border should we add. The label 1 means no mask and label 0 means a uh, mask. Now we'll just add the corresponding class to our image. Now we are ready to test. As we can see, we got a red border for the image where is no mask and uh, changing the image with the mask image, we got a green border. To make this more accurate, you have to add more diverse train images. So that was it for today. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe.